Now, the United Nations mission in South Sudan is looking at ways of extending its presence in the northeast town of Akobo to make it easier for humanitarian aid to reach displaced civilians as well as boost security in the region. About 71,000 displaced people are currently living in Akobo and the surrounding area after fleeing fighting between the Sudan People's Liberation Army and opposition forces in the northeast. The humanitarian needs of people in Akobo are numerous and security in the region and poor road conditions mean that aid agencies face logistic challenges and find it too expensive to support programs there. The UN mission in South Sudan once operated a base in Akobo but it was closed down following an attack in December 2013 in which two Indian peacekeepers and 30 civilians were killed. It seems to me that uh, a presence here would be a very useful thing for, ha for us to, to, to have. Um, so we've been speaking with the county commissioner, with, with uh, many of the other officials here to see what sort of thing might be appropriate, most appropriate. Uh, logistically, getting a large force in here will take us months just because of the, the difficulty of getting things here. Uh, but we're looking at what options are available us, for us to be able to expand our presence, give some added value to what's going on here, um, but at the same time trying to keep our footprint relatively light. Now, the South Sudan conflict largely fought along ethnic lines as plunged parts of the oil producing country into severe hunger, paralyzed public services, and forced a quarter of the population, that's about 3 million people, to flee their homes.